Um, but anyways, uh, I just want to first and foremost say, like, um, Sweetie has nothing to do with this. Aisha, the publicist, has nothing to do with this. This is strictly between me and Vlad. Like, I wonder if Slim ever gets high off. Because you pop out the live. Vlad, stop cutting the audio. I'm dead. Man, I need this girl to... Ugh, whatever, I'm going to just go. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Why did you retweet at Vlad? What do you mean? First of all, I don't know if y'all saw, but Vlad deleted his tweet. The, the, the shit that really got me pissed off was... His tweet last night, uh, dragging me on Twitter. Saying, Shirley Jew doesn't work for us anymore. Sorry to all the Vlad TV viewers for her ruining, ruining interviews. Um, and to be honest, yo, like, I'll, I'll be the first person to say that, bro. They fucking hated me on Vlad. Like, what? That shit was crazy. Um, yeah, so yeah, anyways, um, yeah, uh, whoever does follow Vlad, he does have, like, a super cult following on YouTube. Um, is how we even got started working um you gotta admit that you were not oh yeah uh, so yeah so whoever say you gotta admit that you were not the best interviewer i'll fucking take that shit i don't give a fuck i'll be the first to admit that like i literally you know at one point it did bother me you know i don't like the interviews i was so okay more let's start from the beginning uh vlad first hit me after he saw g Easy on my show. So I have a show called Shirley's Temple. It has a focus on mental health. How, how ironic, right? Um, so he hit me saying, uh, damn, everyone's telling me to go to her live. That's crazy. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all know, if y'all were real ones, I have a show called Shirley's Temple. I had g Easy on there and he hit me, saw g Easy on my show and he hit me to start working for him. Like in my mind, like, yeah. I've heard all the negative stuff, but at the same time, there were people that fucked with him, right? So, like, I booked Akon for him. Akon was ecstatic to do Vlad. Like, I've... I, Taylor Bennett, he was stoked to do Vlad. Um, there are people that do fuck with Vlad. Okay, she's here. Thank you. No, I try my best not to be late. I'm so sorry. No, you How are you doing? I'm, you know, I'm a lot better. I texted you why I'm better, because low-key Vlad, yeah. Vlad apologized, but Good. I was just, uh, I'm in a uh, shout out to my girl Laura. She told me to like meditate before the live and just like shout yeah. out to you know I posted that and um I think Dizzy's tweet did it for me. It was just like remember to move with love. So like mm -hmm. you know that is very important to me. I don't ever want to come off as negative. And if yeah. I do, I just want to say it's because I'm fucking emotional. Because you know like it's been a lot. I cried literally Thanksgiving yesterday. Today like I've literally shed tears over this shit. And like, well, you have a right to feel however you want to feel. You have a right to express that. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, and, for sure. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was giving the backstory on Vlad, but I just want to give a disclaimer that Saweetie and Aisha has nothing to do with this. This is between me and Vlad strictly. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah. So like, yeah, Saweetie's, you know, tweeting she's a fan, of it, but it's like this is this is between me and Vlad. It has nothing to do with Saweetie. Um, so what? How we get here? So, yeah, give me the backstory, too, because I'm trying to learn like them. Facts. Oh, so I was telling everyone. So, um, I don't know if you know, but I have a show called Shirley's Temple. Mm -hmm. um, it has a focus on mental health. I had g Easy on my show. And mm -hmm. after that episode aired, Vlad reached out to me via email and was like, yo, like, I want you to work for me. Ah, ah, ah. Like, we just, you know. And, like, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I've heard the negative stuff about Vlad, but at the same time, I there are people that fuck with him and there is positive stuff, you know, like what he's done on YouTube and created like right. whatever, a multi-million dollar business off YouTube. That's, that's impressive. Like that's go. Mm -hmm. I'm not knocking Vlad like at all, but right. this incident was so like out, like out of left field and so unreasonable. And so, like, I can't grasp my head around it. It's just like, right so fucking crazy so yeah i was actually addressing the hate at first because yeah so vlad i woke up this morning and vlad had deleted his tweet his tweet was she was no longer working with vlad sorry to all the viewers for all the interviews she ruined so at one point during my working relationship with vlad we had to pivot from me doing interviews to strictly booking because i will be the first to admit i got hella hate on vlad and i don't give a fuck now i used to care but i don't now like they was it because of you or your association with him? It was, no, it was because Vlad viewers are like trolls on the internet and they just want to hate. Mm -hmm. 
It's, I'm not oh, saying, so that was just talking down. I'm not saying their comments weren't valid. Like, I try to actually take it as constructive criticism. Like, I remember at one point, I was like, oh, fuck, I got to actually research. Like, Vlad's right. interviews are, like, he knows shit and pulls up shit that I couldn't even find on Google. So I'm, like, impressed by it all because I've been a journalist for a decade, and mm -hmm. I feel like I got lazy with it. Like, I wasn't researching. So he showed okay. me, like, how important it is. So yeah, it, it, there are positives to it. Um, how did yeah. I get there? Um, how did I get there? I it just smoked, so you gotta go through cycles. Yeah. And redundant. Um, but oh yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he his fans. I mean, his people love to hate me there. Like it's cool. Like that's. But for him to be petty and put that on blast over Twitter because he was butt hurt that he saw me retweet a tweet from an acclaimed journalist named Garrett Kennedy. He writes for LA Times and all these things. But his tweet basically was saying, wow, this is a guy, uh, this is a guy that dragged another girl and then dragged another female. Like, it was just, it was like, and he, he called him a clown and I had retweeted that. But I hadn't responded at all out of respect for the publicist. Like, I didn't, I had to move carefully, you know, like. Okay. And then okay. he took it to that level because he saw that retweet and he got butthurt. Like, I was just like, am I in the Twilight Zone? Like, this fool is like. Bro, like Twitter fingers. So how is that like, working environment? Like y'all get along? Okay. Help us so, like. That's the thing. We've we've had mishaps in the past. Um, there was actually an incident where I'm about to air all this shit out. There was an incident yeah, where girl. his videographer resigned, and the day he resigned, there was some like miscommunication between us via email with his assistant, and he decided, and he literally blamed me for his videographer resigning. It was like the craziest shit. I was like, like, and, and that's when I like, you know, I feel like all bot, like all successful people are kind of crazy. Like, it's cool. Like, you know, they all have their moments, but like, okay, if, if I'm gonna keep it real, the, he's not like the, even the videographer admitted, like, he's not the best person to work with. Like, I remember, okay. I remember doing my first virtual interview. He had gotten me equipment so I could do it from home. So we didn't have to pay for studio time. Right. Okay. I remember our first, uh, my first virtual interview, it was with GMK. Go check it out. Actually, don't, but it's on Vlad. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, I'm like, wait. Um, and he was like here helping me with it. So in case I wouldn't mess up. And then I hit him after and was like, yo, thank you so much. Like, you don't understand how much that helped me. And, you know, thank you. And he was like, oh, trust me, I'm doing it so I don't get bitched out by Vlad. I was like, damn. And that's why I'm like, like, is this toxic? And, you know, I, if I'm being completely honest, and he'll say this too, like, I, he paid me the most out of all my jobs as a journalist. Like, we get paid like shit. So I feel mm -hmm. like I, I'm a hustler. I'm a Capricorn, whatever. Like, I, you know, I feel like I was blinded chasing the bag. And I feel so dumb about it. Like, I feel so dumb about it. I don't know. Wait, I, Why? I, do you, do you feel like you compromised yourself? Or, like, what do you think? Why do you feel dumb about that? Because I saw the message that got posted, and it was like $10,000 for Sweden. So, Book your Sweden for a cool $10,000 shit. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. For real. Thank you. But Girl, but also me, but also, bitch, me knowing that I was, it wasn't going to happen because, what, okay, it's not even that it's not going to happen, but there's just so many moving parts that people don't understand in the industry. Like, it's it's not that easy, like. And okay. also, there's so many politics surrounding it. Like, bro, the day, the day that Vlad tweeted the Saweetie tweet, mm -hmm. someone from Saweetie's team had called to ask him to delete the fucking tweet, and he almost posted that voicemail. So literally, he I went, saw that get threatened when he said he was gonna choose violence, girl. He said he was gonna post the voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah. world, that's what he said. That that's what I'm saying. So the voicemail is someone from Saweetie's team, full stop management, who apparently she's not even with anymore. It's just like, bro, there's so many moving pieces. But the, the manager's asking Vlad to delete the tweet, okay? Mm -hmm. So now he's like ready to like fight, right? But then fucking Saweetie enters the conversation and is like, mm -hmm. oh wait, I'm actually a fan. Here's a screen recording of one of a Snoop interview that I watched. And I'm just like, right. Bitch, it's Thanksgiving. I'm literally in a movie. I'm watching Black Panther, and I'm just like, like, he never calls. So when he calls, it's like serious, I guess, you know? Okay. 
And for like with his phone, he makes it so you can't even call him. Oh, it's so annoying. But oh, anyway. he be putting it on do not disturb, but what? I don't know, but you literally have to text him to call you to reach him. Okay, we would never talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh but uh yeah so it was thanksgiving and he mm -hmm. he's literally blowing up at me after mm -hmm. he was he's literally calling me on the phone like give me the publicist's name i look stupid give me the publicist's name i'm airing her out on twitter or i'm dragging you and i'm posting our conversations he didn't say those words but i'm saying is that essentially that's what he said like he why you have like, to get threatened what's with the ultimatums baby what you do that's it. he literally gave me that ultimatum and i'm not making this shit up my boyfriend was in the car he heard it i'm just saying Literally, he's give, he's literally giving me the ultimatum, like, yo, give me the publicist's name so I can air her out. I'm not about to be out here looking dumb as fuck, blah, 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 or I'm dragging you. And I was like, no. I First of all, Aisha has nothing to do with this. Aisha, she's such a dope publicist. She's senior VP of publicity at Warner for a reason. She mm -hmm. actually gave me my first on-camera interview with Ty Dolla Sign in 2014. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Aisha... Aisha is my baby, like beyond work, like that is my, I will die for Aisha. Like, and anyone who knows Aisha's okay. industry, like she is just a very beautiful soul. Like I literally love her. And that's what fucked me up this entire time. Cause right. people online are saying, oh, she's going to get fired, like blah, blah, blah. So in my mind, I'm like, yo, if she gets fired, I, I'll be like, I wouldn't know what to do. Like I literally would be, but no, cause she turned up and she said, yeah, she said Warner Legal is going to get on his ass because that's defamation. Like, he, yeah. Anyways, back, to, yeah, so I wouldn't give Aisha's name and he's, and I was like, bro, Vlad, this is not about the publicist. This is literally nothing to do with the publicist. Right. And, and I, and I, I was trying to be like, yo, it's Thanksgiving. She has a daughter. Like, please chill out. And he was like, right. I don't give a fuck if she has a daughter. I'm sick of these publicists that these labels self like sabotaging me. Like, mind you, in the text, I want to clarify this because this is the biggest missing piece of the puzzle. What? In my text, when I said the publicist doesn't want any of her artists doing black, I was generalizing all the publicists. I wasn't saying Aisha. I was saying that shit to get him off my back. Oh, okay. It's, it's Letting him know. Aisha never really said that. Him like that. Aisha never said that. So I need to clear her name right now. And that's when I was like, Vlad, okay. it has nothing to do with Aisha. I misspoke. And he's like, no, I'm like, He's irate. Like, he's irate. He's yelling at me, though. He's yelling. He's he's yelling at me on the phone. Like, and, you know, I, I struggle with mental health stuff. So, like, I, I'm bipolar. So, I, I understand those moments. But at the same time, like, it wasn't just that. It was, like, the snowball of his reactions on social media. I'm like, bro, you're doing this on social media. <laughs> These are private conversations. First right. of all, you, why did you need to post my name? You could have posted our text with no name. Why did you? Right, right. Why did you so feel you, you feel drag like you were thrown under the bus? For after, bitch, I'd been so loyal to him. Literally, the day before, I just ran into Denzel Curry. He was, he was at Hip Boy. Hip Boy was giving out uh, free burgers with Burger Guys in LA. Oh, damn. And Denzel was on his list of artists he would be down to interview. So how it worked with booking, I would pitch him. 50% of the time, he would say no. But I would pitch him artists. And if he said yes, then I would go after the artist. OK. So in the past, he said yes to Denzel Curry. And like, I literally like, you know, I've gone through the publicist and they didn't give me an answer. But see, you got to go through people. But then when you meet someone, meet the artist in real life, it'd be a whole different thing. Right. So it's probably easier with that direct I literally accent. was like, Denzel, would you ever do a Vlad interview? He what he said? His whole mood changed. Like literally. For the works? He, he literally was like, ew. Like he was like, no, I would never do it. He, his, his entire mood changed. He was so taken aback that I asked that, that I literally at the end was like, yo, please don't associate me with Vlad. I'm so sorry I brought him up. And he's like, yo, that's going to be hard. That's how fucked up he was over it. Like, he was not, he was pissed that I brought up Vlad. And that's, that's how, you know, I've interviewed him for power in the past, but I really, you know, I, I, I you know, these relationships matter to me. So it's of like, course, they I literally lost so much face talking to him. I was just like, this is so embarrassing. I wish I never. And like, you know, I and looking back, yeah, I feel like I, I was chasing a bag. I, I didn't know how bad it was. Um, and to be, I just feel like ultimate betrayal that he would do that to me after all the shit that I've done for him, to be honest. Like, and he'll sit here and say he gave me a platform. He put the most money in my pocket. And I don't disagree. I agree. Like, I agree. Like, we literally, like, 
that's cool that's cool but you can't you're at you can't treat females like this you can't think it's okay to bully people on social media you can't think it's okay to create these narratives and like get all your fucking other outlet media friends behind it posting it so you can like escalate like so you can draw like so you can go viral that's literally what you're doing like are you trying to go viral sir like what the fuck yeah i mean because you've been getting a lot of you know hate on twitter girl i seen him on twitter in your mention yeah um you know when he posted like that you was fired on your day off like girl the fuck right why would you do that like why would you go so have y'all talked is he gonna apologize to you um he apologized to sweetie i saw that on instagram you feel me oh no on twitter on twitter yeah, yeah. um so i uh man i mean he has reached out to me um he wanted to have a conversation before he because i re I, re I demanded that he uh apologize publicly to me you know like shout out to julian because he, yeah that was a gr good move um but mm -hmm. he doesn't he doesn't want to do that before we have a conversation so that's we're kind of at a standstill right now um do you feel comfortable speaking with him you know y'all had to exchange how do yeah, you know? but at the same time because i had just spoken with aisha on the phone she was like nah fuck him like he's not we're not gonna jump when he says jump like what just because he's ready to talk like i didn't want to talk to him i was so mad i'm still mad i can't like I feel like he apologized because he finally came around to how stupid that was. Like, that was the dumbest shit. Like, you literally created this why to and to drag two females. Why? Like, why? Like, why? Like, it just makes no sense to me. Uh, Do you think that maybe he'll want to talk to you and be like, this was a misunderstanding. I want you to come back. Would you go back? Bitch, he already said that. He said, if you still want to keep booking for me, you can. But it's like. Is he so trying you to still really chasing the bag or what you doing? Nah, that's fucked up, man. You know, like this. The biggest learning lesson here mm -hmm. is that not every bag is good. Like, I like that's I. Bag, girl. I've 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 even told him I've lost hella relationships already because I'm fucking with him. Like, it's embarrassing. It's like I feel, I just re I feel regret. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta I'm do what's healthiest for you. And you yeah. gotta be in situations that serve you. So if you feel like the rapport has gotten toxic and you're minding your business on a United States federal holiday, it's Thanksgiving a federal holiday, girl. That's girl, whatever what the fuck it is. You was trying to watch Wakanda forever, minding your business, it's and you got somebody playing yelling on your damn phone. Now nah, listen, this ain't you know, that. Do you know how much I wish I fucking recorded that shit? Like that would have been I I'd be on the news because this motherfucker is like yelling. Like yelling giving me an ultimatum and threatening me like I w and then and then after he tweeted my name he was like tweet posted um I thought you would have I thought we would have more priority than a publicist who gave you six minutes with a rapper I was like bro you are you are not okay you're not okay inside you're angry I feel bad for your wife and your children that's how I felt I was like I really hope they don't see this side of you because this is like angry like you're acting like a child bro that's that's wild like that's crazy and thinks it's okay to 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 air me out and then expect me to still work with you he texted me today with the tweet that publicly humiliating me he texted me today and was like what did he say damn i gotta check i feel like i just lost my chance of thought what what he said you talking about what he said that you weren't gonna be doing interviews for him no more Oh yeah, he te yeah, he said uh oh, he said oh, our um like your actions ended our working relationship. He basically said yeah, the me retweeting that ended our working relationship. And in my mind I'm like, you thought I was going to keep working with you? That's crazy. That you really thought I was going to keep working with you after that? Like that right. Why did I'm someone gonna work over that? Like because you know about to talk to me any kind of motherfucking way. Y'all got to have respect. Yeah, Aria yeah. C E C T. And it was the workplace. They gotta be. It, he can't be calling your phone with that rah rah shit. And mm -hmm. if you feel like you over there for the wrong reasons, then you gotta do what serves you and make sure you can sleep at night. And relationships can take you very far. You already got your show. You know, maybe they would be more willing to come on your show. You know, if it was separate. I, you. I just gotta say one thing because motherfuckers are really out here thinking that I was fucking around with Vlad. That is like the most foul shit. Please, don't. like sexual. Yes, bitch. I was like, please Girl. do not, like, like. Who? 
yo, even when I was on, even so, me and Fredro, I was interviewing Fredro Star and Vlad, um, like, uh, like, you know, reoccurring, and mm -hmm. um, people on Vlad were like, "Oh, are they fucking?" And I'm like, "What is what?" Internet trolls are crazy, bro. Like, 